classical music selections entitled Slow Walk, Lafayette, and Shake Em Up. She represents the Detroit Skating Club and he the Broadmoor Skating Club. Let's welcome now Kate Robinson and Peter Breen. And this has really been a disappointing national championship so far for Robinson and Breen. They were the bronze medalists last year in Nashville. So they'd like to move up here, but uh, so far it hasn't gone their way. This is a much simpler dance, a much simpler style of ice dancing. It gives you time to breathe and see some of the moves, but it is not as intricate and not as good if he's going to stumble like that as some of the other dancers. Remember in these lifts, the man cannot lift her with his hands above his shoulders. He also can't rotate more than one and a half times. He can't let her sit on his shoulders or sit not sit there. He can't, he can't do more than five minutes in duration of any lift. And he can't display a feat of strength or uh, acrobatics. And I've got a hundred other rules I can read too for you if you'd like to uh, hear them all. In other words, it's not pair skating. It, it is ice dancing. The rules of ice dancing are thicker than all the other disciplines of skating put together. But you've said often that in many ways it exemplifies the, the best that skating has to offer. You don't concentrate on all those jumps, it's edging and how you move across the ice. That's the way it's supposed to be. But the rules that govern this are just incredibly complicated. Again, Robinson and Breen in fifth place heading into this program. Liz Puntland and Jared Swallow in the lead looking to grab their fifth national championship. And I, think, I think she has great flight on the ice. Very nice speed. Long legs, good stretch, good turnout. The question that remains here in the ice dancing, whether Joseph and Butler can hang on to second place in their first trip to the Senior Nationals, coming off a junior world title. Nowhere near as intricate or as difficult as some of the other programs that we've seen so far. But somehow the program didn't seem to build as well as it should have. It took off strong and then it kind of settled down. It didn't have the theatrical beginning, middle, and an end that any theatrical piece should have. So we'll have to wait and see where Kate Robinson and Peter Breen end up. They were in fifth place. Hunslin and Swallow in first place looking to win their first championship. 
on their way to number five. And Joseph and Butler, will they finish second and go to the Olympic Games? We'll find out when we come back to Philadelphia. So, Kate Robinson, Peter Breen, the final dance couple. No, those marks clearly will not bring them up uh, high enough to challenge either Punzel and Swallow or Joseph and Butler. No, they were in fifth place, and those are nowhere near as high as those of the leaders. Remember, unofficially, you can normally assume in this event that the top two teams will go to the Olympics, but it is an international committee who decides that second spot, and they will name them. The winners automatically go. And the marks for presentation, 5.4 up to 5.6. So Robinson and Breen stay in fifth place. And guess what? It's Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow who win national championship number five. And right next to them, well, they've been amazing people all week. Joseph and Butler, what a team that it's going to be over the next four or five years. And I guess unofficially, you can say those are the two teams that will be going to the Olympic Games. Here's how they end up. The championship three dance. Hustle and Swallow again win. Third year in a row. Jessica Joseph, Charlie Butler, first year as seniors, finished with the silver medal. Lang and Chernyshev and Shalom and Gates will have to wait and see. Perhaps one of those teams will go to the world championships. Right now, Leslie Visser is with some very happy people. Leslie? Well, they're just settling in. We have the whole spectrum of ice dancing right here on this bench. We have in their first national championships, in their last national championships. Congratulations. Jessica, first to you. What attitude did you come here with today? Um, we came here to come and skate our best, and it was up to the judges to do the rest, but we just wanted to show the crowd a good time. Charlie, did you ever let yourself dream of making the Olympic team? Um, I wasn't planning on it in 1998. You might have to get used to it. And congratulations, your fifth title. Jared, what makes this one different? Um, I think uh, being an Olympic year, uh, you get all nostalgic thinking about your, your previous championships. And uh, four years ago, we won at home in Detroit. And uh, there's a lot of emotion involved there. And anytime you make an Olympic team, it's, it's very emotional. We're, we can't be ha We couldn't be happier. And, Five titles, it's it's great. Your free skate is so beautiful. Why are you changing it for the Olympics? Um, well, good question. <laughs> Liz, you want to take Yeah, we'd like to try to bring up our artistic mark a little more, and we think a tango would be a great venue for us to do so. Yeah, that's right. You guys are beautiful in the tango. What about for you in your last Olympics? It was a lot of pain going into the Olympics. You lost your father. What kind of joy or attitude will you take to this one? Well, I think this Olympics we're definitely going to celebrate to the fullest and just enjoy each other and our skating. Well, it shows. You've all been a joy to watch, and best of luck to all of you. To you, Brent. Leslie, thank you very much.